Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? How's your um how's uh your your Thursday going so far? I'm going to have to plug in a different camera, guys. How are you guys? How was your day today? Everything good? Maximo, how are you? Can you hear me, guys? Hi. Hello. Welcome, Julissa. How are you doing? Fine. In my way to home. In your way home? Okay. All right. Well, be careful. All right. Uh, Maximo, how are you doing? How was your day today? All right, Jamie, how are you? Welcome. How was your day today? Hi, teacher. All good. All good. All right. What do you do for a living? Right now, I am on vacation. Oh, you're on vacation. Nice, nice, nice. Are yes. you taking your vacation in, here in, in the country or did you go somewhere else? Uh, in the country. In the country all right yeah. well welcome and nice meeting you i think that you were not here on the first day were you and this is my first day on my vacation really no no, no i mean in the class were you in the oh. did you come on monday no right no because i was on my job okay i got you i got you don't worry about that okay all right, guys. All right, so welcome aboard, guys. Let's get started. So um, I got something for you guys real quick. I want to show you this, but I was waiting for everybody. But since we're not everybody's here, we got to move on, okay? So let's have some practice from yesterday. Uh, so we were talking about relative clauses, right? So yesterday we went over the examples on right we had something like this right we said that we can use we can use uh relative clauses right as subjects of the sentences right now you can do it in the other way around you can use it as the object of a sentence now, what is the what is an object? Who can tell me what 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 the object of a sentence is? Who remembers what that is? And by the way, all right, hold on. Let me share the screen. All right, that's better now. Okay, so this is what we were talking about yesterday, right? So we said that we have, you know, two clauses here, right? But this one works as the subject. Now, why is this a clause? Well, why is this not, not a clause, right? What is that? Why is this a relative clause? Who can answer that question? What do you think? One thing I'd like to have, why is that a relative clause? All right, I'm going to ask, guys, you're very quiet today. Um, so we're going to do this, okay? All right. So when we say, guys, one thing I'd like to have is, right? Now, let's focus on this part right here, okay? The reason why this is a relative plus is because we have 
a relative pronoun here, right? It's invisible because you can use it or not, right? You can say one thing I'd like to have or one thing that I'd like to have. So this part right here is the beginning of a relative clause, right? So we were saying that this can work as the subject of the sentence, right? This will be the subject. And it will be the subject because we will continue the sentence and we will say something like, one thing I'd like to have, um, let's see, Diego, Vega, what is something that you'd like to have? What is something that you've always mm. dreamed of? Mm, one thing that I like to have is computer that can run every game. A computer that can run every game, right? Game. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. <laughs> so one thing I like to have is a computer that 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 can run. You know, that runs. Okay, let's go. Let's go like this. Okay. So one thing I like to have is a computer that runs every game, right? So I want you to, I want you to notice what's going on here, right? So we have one thing I'd like to have, and we know that that's a relative clause. Why is that a relative clause? Tell me. Why is this right here, ladies and gentlemen, a relative clause? All right, let me ask um, Julissa. What do you think, Julissa? Why is that a relative clause? Sorry, sorry, I can't hear you. So, so why do you think that the part that says one thing I'd like to have is a relative clause. Uh, it's a relative clause because we have um, invisible pronoun. Very good, right? Which is that. Good job, right? That I'd like to have, okay? So now this is working as the subject of the sentence, correct? Why is this a subject? Why is a whole phrase the subject. Do you remember what I said yesterday, guys? What is a subject? Do you remember that? What is a subject? Is whatever we're talking about. Very good, right? So very, very good. So it's whatever or whoever we are talking about. Yes, that is the subject of the sentence, okay? Whatever or whoever we are talking about, okay? So, so uh, so if you said one thing I'd like to have, right, is working, this is what we're talking about, right? We're talking about this part right here. This is something, you know, I'd like to have. So the point is that you can, or let's go back to the presentation, right? So this part right here, so we know why that is a relative clause, right? But this part right here, is what's called the the relative um, the relative clause. Now, this is working as the subject because this is what this is talking about, right? However, we can use you know the relative clause as the object of the sentence. So now we're saying my brother's car is one thing I'd like to have. Now, if you see, right, the subject became the object of the sentence. And what is the object of the sentence? What is an object? I'm gonna give you a, a tip. The object, the object of a sentence is the same as the subject, okay? The subject is the same as the object, right? What is the only difference? This is what or who we are talking about. And the object is the receiver of the action. What is it, guys and girls? Just the the receiver is of the action. The receiver of the action. Receive the okay? action. 
right? So my brother's car is one thing I'd like to have, right? So we can change the order. So if you go, if you go to the platform, you know, you're going to see the exact same thing. Okay. You're going to see an example, right? Hold on. Let me see if we can see this here. All right. So if you go back to the platform, you're going to see this example right here. Mm. This right here, right? So same thing, right? So I like guys who that aren't too serious, right? This is, hold on, let me play it here. All right, let's go over here, right? Right, so, so we're saying, right, that we can use, you know, relative pronouns as subjects because we can change the order, right? So you can say, for example, I like guys, they aren't too serious, right? I like guys that aren't, right, that, uh, or who aren't too serious, right? Now, if we're saying, if we're saying it like this, guys, Right, hold on. If we're saying it like this, I like guys, and then who aren't too serious, we're using it as the object of the or, or the subject of I mean as the subject or the object of the sentence. As the object. Okay. As the object. All right. Very good. But what about if we say it if we say it like this? I prefer someone. Or that I can talk to easily. Remember that we're talking about the relative pronouns, right? As subjects and relative pronouns as objects. Right? So why is it that in the first example, it says that we're using them, you know, as subjects. And then in the second one, we're using them as objects. As objects, okay? What do you think? All right, let's go back to, okay. So let's go back to the examples that I gave you before, okay? All right. This is uh, more understandable this way. All right. So if we do have, if, if we have something like this, right? We just invert the order, right? And this is, this is what we're saying, see? Now we have the subject here. Now it's on the other side, right? Now this right here became, one thing I'd like to have became the, the object of the sentence, right? So we know that we can use them as relative clauses, okay? So I got, uh, I got, I got some practice for you guys. I'm going to get you into couples, but I want you to take a screenshot of this, All right? Hold on. Reading, read mode, okay. Very good. So I'm going to show you this screen, guys. All right, so I want you to complete this exercise. Well, these 10 exercises, basically what you're going to do is uh, you're going to identify the relative clause in the following sentences, okay? For example, you got, you got uh, the book that I borrowed from the library is very interesting. So in this first question, guys, which is the relative clause? Just so we know the examples, which, where can you find the relative clause in the first example? Um, the book that I borrowed from, from the library. That I borrowed no. from the library. There you go. Yes, very good, right? That I borrowed. In this case, that would be, right? This would be the answer, right? That I borrowed. Okay, and that is what you guys are going to do right now, okay? Now, do me a favor, can, can, can somebody please 
take a, take a screenshot. Maybe I'll do it if this thing's a, this thing allows me. All right. Can somebody please take a screenshot screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group? I'll actually try to do it myself. Hold on. Maybe like this. Hold it. Okay. So I'm gonna send this image, ladies and gentlemen, to the WhatsApp group. So that's, oh, somebody already did it. Thank you so much, Alejandro. Okay. So uh, I want you to get in couples, guys, and you're gonna work on them together, okay? Any questions, I'll be there, all right? So let's join the breakout rooms, please. And let's work on the exercises together. All right, let's join, let's join. Guys, girls, let's join the breakout sessions, please. All right, Jaime, Julissa, let's join the rooms, please. I can hear you. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, and you? Okay, yes, right now, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. The book that I library is very interesting. Relative classes. Uh, uh, what's up? Group. Yes, the exercises, guys, are on the WhatsApp group, okay? Yes? Yes. Jamie, do you have the WhatsApp group? They give us a result, right? ¿Qué pasó? Any questions, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> uh, no yet. Teacher, actually, right. I I try to understand. All right, that, mm -hmm. let's try to complete the exercises, and if you have questions, I'll be here. Okay. Thank you. All right, I'll help you. But try to ex uh, try to complete them on your own. Okay. 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 The second one. Okay, is guys. The correct. Um, uh -huh. Number two, is right? The correct Yes, relative pronoun to complete the sentence. Do you know the girl who, which, where, won? Won the singing competition. Um, this person, I think, is who? Or... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, obviously, yeah. Who is the person? Okay, let me take note. Hmm? Question two, the answer is letter A. Give me a second. Okay, number three. Ma, Lara, Lara, Okay. Uh, number two. What is the what is the answer? Letter. Letter A. Letter A. Letter, letter A. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Question three. Rearrange the following. What was? So if you have question, guys, uh, please please let me know. Okay. Okay, got okay. it. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 
which now? Which one? The house, which was. Mm. Which was. Which was built. Because it's an object. Yeah, which and, is the correct uh -huh. answer. The house which was built in... No, in O2 or 02? I don't know how to... O2. No, O2, sorry. Okay. 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 It's now a museum. It's now a museum. Yeah, which... Which yeah, sound better? See. She's ready yeah. to advert to complete the sentence. He showed me the park. He showed me the park. We used to play as children. When we used to play as children. Where? 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 When? Where? To me, where? where? We're talking where about we... a place. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. We are where? not talking about uh, time, for example. Where we play as children. Children. Mm -hmm. yeah, when because we are talking about something in the past. So when we were kids, we play in that place. Yeah, that's right. Question of identify the incorrect incorrect relative classes in the following sentence. The car that was parked outside the belongs to my friend. The incorrect relative class. The car park outside the store belongs to me. The car that was parked. Mm, I'm not really sure about this question. Me mm -hmm. That was part. Mm, teacher, I don't know if you are here. Maybe not. Uh, well, we're going to leave that. This one, no answer. Okay. We're going to answer. Okay. Question number seven, choose the correct option to complete the sentence with the definite relative class. The person. We are definitely really close. The person. Who won the mm -hmm. Martin? Who won the Martin's brand new record? Uh -huh. Question yes. number eight, select the correct relative count to complete the sentence. I have a friend. For me. I have a lives. friend. Who lives in Canada? Who lives in Canada? Mm -hmm. Yes. Then the question number nine. Identify the relative pronoun. The following sentence. The cake you bake is delicious. The relative pronoun. Identify the relative pronoun in the voice. That. The relative pronoun. Oh, so that. Yeah. And last one. Choose the correct relative adverb to complete the sentence. They arrive late. Ready it up, bird. Everything when good, guys, has so far? I already started. Oh, well, we have a question with the number six. Tell me, tell me. In my, I don't know. Uh, I don't understand uh, <laughs> because... Number six? Yes, it's identified the incorrect relative class in the following sentence. The girl that was parked outside of the store belongs to my friend, but I don't understand... Um, the answer because it's the car that was parked and I understand the, the option. This is the incorrect relative clause, right? Yes, so the yeah. car that was parked outside the store belongs to my friend. Okay. Yes. So if we said, if we said, uh, hold on, let me check this. I need to plug in myself, okay. guys. Hold on. 
Okay. All right. So, give me one second here. Let me pull out the file so I can read it to you for you. How about this? Don't worry. So first of all, what is the right? What, what is the relative clause there? Uh, to me, the relative clause is the car that was parked uh, park outside of the store. Okay, that is correct. Now there is something I was just making sure, and there is something mm -hmm. wrong with this sentence because when we say the car, right? The car is an option. This is incorrect. Relative clause, right? But we don't have another relative clause oh, here. So okay. So 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 there is a mistake in the question. Okay. Right? Uh, thank you for pointing that out because if you know if if you know we had to choose, you would need to choose the car. So the answer would be the car outside the store and belongs to my friend, right? Because that would be the incorrect. Uh, the incorrect answers, right? But it says identify the incorrect okay. relative clause in the following sentence, right? And that was parked is actually correct. So all of mm -hmm. the other ones are incorrect. This this, this oh. question does not make this question is not well structured. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. But yeah, the relative clause okay. is that was uh, parked. Okay. That is the the okay. the right relative clause. Yes. Thank you. All right. We finished. You finished? Yes. All right. Very good. So uh, let's go back. I'm going to check on the other. I think, um, yeah, let's go back now, okay? I'm not sure if everybody yeah. else finished, but let's go back. All right, welcome back. All right, so did you get to solve them all, ladies and gentlemen? So since we're like just a uh, few, you know, few participants here, let's uh, let's try to solve them together, okay? So number one, Diego, what's the answer for number one? It says identify the relative clause in the following sentence. The book that I borrowed from the library is very interesting. So which one is the right answer here? What do you think? Uh, the answer is letter B that I borrowed. The answer is very good that I borrowed, right? Very good, good job. All right next up we have we have Luis Carranza. Hello, Luis. Could you please tell me what the answer no. for number two is? Choose the um, correct relative pronoun. Pronoun, right? To complete the sentence. Do you know the girl? For me, the number is. Letter A. Uh, do you know? Do you know the girl who won the singing competition? Beautiful job, brother. Thank you very much. That is correct. Okay. Thanks a lot, Luis. Uh, let's go with Alejandro Luis. Number three. Rearrange the following words to create a sentence with a relative clause. The dog chased the chased the cat. Yeah. The answer is the letter B, the dog that chased the The dog that chased the cat. All right. Do we all agree with that option, guys? Yes. I agree. That is correct. Okay. Yes. That is correct. Okay. Number four. Thank you, Alejandro. Um, Jaime. 
identify the correct yes, re- so identify the correct relative pronoun for the sentence the house and then was built in 1902 is now a museum the <clears throat> see the wish the house right the house. which was built very good job good job my brother thank you Jaime. all right that is correct um jamie lopez number five choose the correct relative adverb to complete the sentence right now if you did not complete this one guys it's okay because we have not seen relative adverbs right but what what is the option just just what what option did you choose here Uh, we choose uh, B. B. He showed me the park where we use. That is correct. Okay, the answer is where. Now, why is this? And this is very interesting. Thank you very much. That is correct, uh, Jamie. Why is this not a relative pronoun? Because a uh, pronoun doesn't refer to a person or an animal or an object. So if you notice, guys, thank you very much, right? If you notice, right after that, we have a verb. Right after which, we have a verb. Right after that, hold on uh that i borrowed no but, but this is a clause right so this one is not going to count here right but if you notice that this this guy's right here it's a relative clause but this is not a relative this is not working as a relative pronoun okay it's working as a relative adverb now the reason why guys is because where is actually modifying a verb okay so he's saying where she showed me the part where we used to play, right? Where is referring to is modifying is working as an adverb because an adverb can modify three things, right? You can modify an adverb, a verb, or another, or, or an adjective. Okay, so just, just three things, right? So in this case, where is modifying what? Is modifying showed, right? So notice that where is followed by a pronoun. So if this was a pronoun, guys, right? If this was a relative pronoun, this could not have been another pronoun, mm-hmm. all right? That's the reason why. That's how we can identify this, right? Is it a relative clause? Okay. Yes, it is a relative clause, but it's not a relative. This is not a real. This is not working as a relative pronoun. This is working as a relative adverb also guys we only have that who whom which and what was the other one because we have five right which was the other one no we have who and whom we have that and which right and which was the fifth the fifth one because we had a fifth one yesterday who's who all right very good we got who's right very good. So where is not part of it? Okay. That's another way in which we can say that this is not a relative pronoun. Now, is this a relative clause where we used to play as children? Yes or no? Yes, it is a relative yes. clause, right? It's just not a relative pronoun. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. So number six. Identify the incorrect relative. Now, this one, guys, it has three answers because it says identify the, inc- the incorrect relative clause in the following sentence. The car that was parked outside the store belongs to my friend, right? So this one is incorrect because it's not a clause, right? This one is incorrect and this one is incorrect too, okay? So it's got three wrong answers. This is, this is, this question was bad structure okay because this is a relative plus but it's saying hey choose the incorrect relative plus right so i apologize for that but 
these are the wrong answers, okay? Three of them are wrong. So let's go with number seven. Choose the correct option to complete the sentence with a defining relative clause. The person, blah, blah, won a marathon, set a new record. So which is the uh, the answer here? Let's see who has not given me an answer. Let's go with uh, Maximo and then Morena, all right? So Maximo, what is the answer for number eight? Um, oh, number seven. Oh, number, number seven. seven, I'm sorry, number seven. Number seven. Yes, Letter number seven. Eight. All right, the person who won the marathon, very good. Okay, good job. So yes, we can say the person who won the marathon set a new record, very good. All right, and then Morena, number eight. Thank you very much, Maximo. Number eight. Yes. Number eight. B, okay, so I have a friend who lives in Canada. Very good job. Thank you very much. Who's missing, guys? Who's missing? You're welcome. Diego, did you give me your answers already? Yes, in the first question, but I can oh, yeah. uh, okay. help you. Yes, please. So what's number nine? Okay. Uh, identify the relative pronoun in the following sentence. The cake that you bake is delicious. Right, very Nine. good. So, uh, the answer. Uh -huh, go ahead. Sorry. The answer is the letter B. That. That. Very good. And number ten. Who wants to give me number ten? Me. Julissa, let's go. Okay. Choose the correct relative adverb to complete the sentences. They are relate when both had already started. Very letter good. A. Very good. Yes. Notice, guys. Notice that when, right, is not part of relative pronouns, right? It's a relative adverb. Because when, when we say when here, guys, they arrived late when. They arrived when. Arrived when. So when is modifying arrived. So that's why it is an adverb. Also, right, we have, if, that's, if this were, if you know, if this were a pronoun, let's pretend, right, that this is a pronoun. Pretend. It's not, right? If there's a pronoun, we have another, we have the show here, and this is a, this is a noun, right? So we cannot have a pronoun and a noun together like this, okay? So that's how you can identify that this is a relative adverb and not a relative pronoun. Sounds good? Yeah. All right, very good, very good, right? Okay, do we have any questions? Is it clear now as vodka, Petrov, 3,000% alcohol combined with Chaparro? Yes? <laughs> all right, all right, very good. So, all right, how do you know about, how do you know about alcohol? <laughs> I wonder, I wonder. So anyways, um, okay, so let's go back to the presentation. All right, let me stop sharing here. I love the presentation. All right, so the last part that we're gonna see about um, relative clauses and pronouns, guys, is this right here, okay? We're gonna talk about relative clauses with Hold on. All right, my connection is good. All right, so we're gonna talk about relative pluses with it, okay? So let me pull that up right now. I think my internet is very slow right now, guys. Hold on. It's going like super slow, you know? Oh, I see. All right, very good. So, so let's talk about uh, relative clauses with it then, okay? Now, 
I want to show you something, guys. How do you feel when this happens? Oh my God, yeah, it's definitely slow. All right, can you see the presentation now? Yes. Yeah. All right, so yes. how do you feel when that happens? What is going on there? There is a movie theater, no? Yes, it's cinema. Uh -huh. yeah. It is a movie theater. It's an when audio. someone receives a call. <laughs> when someone receives... Well, it's a movie theater, right? And somebody is talking yeah. over the phone, right? So how do you feel when somebody is talking over the phone? <laughs> to me, it's something really annoying. It's annoying, right? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So, yes. This I agree. This I agree. It is annoying, right? So you have to... Okay, so how do you how do you express that? I would say something like this, guys. I would say something like, all right, let me see if I can type this in here, okay? I can say, I hate it. Repeat, guys. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Right? I hate it when people... I hate it when people... Right? Talk over the phone in a movie theater. Right, so in like the that. Phone in a movie theater. All right, very good. It was just in white, so that's why we could not see it. So like this. Mm. Right? I hate it, right? Can you see that? Let's use yeah. a different color, okay? Let's use red. Okay, and then let's make it a little bit bigger, all right? So I hate it when people talk over the phone in a movie theater. Now, there is a reason why we're not saying I hate when. Got it? There, there is a big reason why we're not doing that. Okay? We need to say I hate it. I love it when. I hate it. I hate it, right? Okay. There is there is a topic, guys, which is called um, we need to use, you know, transitive verbs, right? And this is a transitive verb. Transitive verb. Yes. Have you ever heard about the term transitive verb? Yes, like, I, I don't remember. Transitive verb, right? So we have a verb, right? Transitive verb. In if, you, if, if you say I eat, does the sentence does the sentence make sense? Yes or no? No. No jet. Okay, okay, hold on. Let's pre okay, so this is okay. This is me, okay? Mm -hmm. Right? And let's say that I am sitting at a table, right? And I have my I have um I'm meeting, you know, I'm eating something, right? I'm eating I don't know, I'm eating some eggs and beans, you know, right? So th this is this is what I'm doing, okay? And I eat with my hands, right? <laughs> so this is this is gonna be me, right? This is my beard, okay, very good. All right, very good. So you know, I'm eating here, right? And uh, <laughs> this is a weird table, okay? It's a very small and weird table, okay? Anyway, so I am eating here, okay? And I say, I eat. Now, does this make sense? Yes or no? Can I say I eat? Yes. Yes, when somebody saw you, but it, it maybe you are talking for the, the phone. No. No, Not I, because I, they don't see. I eat, right? But but yeah, I can. But the thing is that it is possible for me to say it. Right? It is grammatically correct. Isn't it grammatically correct, guys? Is it or is it not grammatically correct? Guys, ¿está o no está gramaticalmente correcto decir I eat? It's correct. No. Oh. If you say no, why not? Explain that to, to us. 
The answer is because it, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Is is some something that you release in the time? No. No. But I could try. Okay. okay. Yes, I can say I eat. Okay, it is grammatically correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Can I say? All right. So this is gonna be. This is gonna be me again, right? All right. So this is gonna be me again. All right. And I'll do. That. All right. Very good. So now I say. I hate. Hold on. Just drag it down a little bit. All right. So I'm going to say, you know, I hate. I'm using a mouse, so excuse my handwriting. So can I say I hate? Is this grammatically correct or not? To me, it's correct. Okay, all right. Julie, Morena, Jamie, Maximo, Luis, can I say I hate? I hate what? I hate what? For me, it's incomplete. Exactly, mm -hmm. it is incomplete. Okay, all right. For example, you can have somebody calling you over the phone, right? You can have La Peor es Nada or La Peor es Nada calling you over the phone. Mm -hmm. And then they ask, hey, you know, on top of being, you know, pero es nada, they, they're also toxic, right? And they're like, what are you doing, you know? <laughs> How are you doing? So, and you go like, oh, I eat, right? You can say I eat, right? Usually you would say I'm eating, right? But you can say I eat and that would be okay. But you cannot say I hate. I hate what, right? Because, so, so somebody said, I hate what? What hate what? Okay, what do you hate? All right, I for example, I I hate Bad Bunny music, <laughs> but that's me, right? <laughs> right, that is me. But I need to say it, right? Um, I hate. So yeah, you can say I hate Bad Bunny's music, right? We're gonna say we're gonna call Bad Bunny's BB, right? I hate BB's, you know, BB's music. Okay. So we have a subject and then we have an object, okay? This is a subject. So it's called a, this is a transitive verb. You know why it's called a transitive verb? Because think about, this is just so you can remember. Think about transit, okay? Think about a street, you know, some cars, right? Think about transit. It's in transit, right? Think about transit. Okay, they need to move towards something, right? Right? You're going, right? This is this is the house from let's pretend that this house right here, this is the, the this is the subject, right? So this is your house, right? And you're going from your house to the house from El Peor La Peor es Nada, right? And this right here will be the object of the sentence, okay? So they need to transition. They need to move within the tra tra within tra transit, right? Guys, do me do me do my favor, uh, please keep muted. Uh, if you if you're not participating because of the noise in the background, right? So so because we have an object, because we require an object, and this is the main reason why, right? Because we require an object we call this a transitive verb, okay? So that's why whenever you're talking, you need to say, let's say that you wanna, you wanna use a relative clause, right? You need to say, I hate it, right? I hate it when people blah, blah, blah. And then you can continue. I hate it, I hate it when, I'm oh, sorry, you can continue with a relative clause, right? I hate it, uh, you can say some of this, I hate it, Hate it when people don't pay attention 
in my class, right? I could say something like that, right? It's just an example, right? I could say this, right? But you need to say, I hate it when, not I hate when people. I hate it when people don't pay attention in my class. Does that make sense? Right? So let's go back to the presentation and let's take a look at more examples, right? So how, what would you say here? How do you, how do you call this? Airphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, those are some earphones, right? Earphone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, what's going on with those earphones? They tangle, tangle. I think that's the word. They're tangled. Yes, they're tangled. tangled. Right? They're tangled. Tangled. Yes. So, I want you to create a sentence on how you feel when you have tangled headphones, or I mean earphones in this case, right? So do me a favor, everybody send me one sentence, only one sentence saying how you feel when you find, you know, tangled earphones, okay? So let's go. All right, so how would you say it? All right, so I got Alejandro's answer. I I don't know if it's correct, but I feel frustrating when my earphones are tangled. I feel frustrated, but when my earphones are tangled, very good. Okay, you can say that. Alejandro said, I hate it when my earphones get tangled. Okay, very good job. I feel angry when my earphones are tang tangled with a D at the end. And also for you, Diego, tangled with a D at the end. All right? Yes, thank you. All right, very good. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but you missed the D at the end. Tangled. Right. Very good, guys. Right. Or how about this, guys? What's going on here? <laughs> I've, I've, I've had this a couple of times, not this exaggerated, but guys, there are people who park using two lanes, you know, not, not exactly like this, right? But man, it it's... It's crazy when people don't care about how they, they park, right? So you can say, I hate it when, right? And that's the point. So you can say these four phrases, guys. See? You can say, it annoys me. Repeat, guys. It annoys me. It annoys me. It drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And I can't stand it. Yeah, I can't, and stand, I can't stand, it. stand it. So you can say it annoys me when people talk over the phone, you know, uh, when I'm at the cinema. 
or it drives me crazy when my earphones are tangled or get tangled, right? Or I hate it when people just do parking spots or I can't stand it. And I don't know what the last image is, right? But you can say, I can't stand it when people talk over the phone, you know, at the movies theater, right? So you can use all four of these phrases, you know, and you can combine them with relative clauses, okay? okay. So, so you can see one of those examples here is, it annoys me, right? And then you got the relative clause here. When people talk during a movie, is this a relative pronoun or a relative adverb? It is a relative adverb. It's a relative adverb, right? And this is a relative clause, right? Yes. So it annoys me, right? Or I hate it when people talk during a movie, right? And that's so you can talk about things that you really, really, really don't like, okay? Any questions so far? No. So far, is it good? All yeah. right. So, so okay, very good, very good. Okay, I think I think you guys are very smart. Okay. Um. So, what do you think, guys? Have we learned new things this week? How do you feel? Yes, we learned a lot, but in my case, I need to practice a little bit. All right, all right, very good. Uh, yes. yes, it was I, very interesting the class, but in my case, I had a short time because I make some different things. Oh yeah, and, yeah. and I write on time to my house. I and got is, you. But I'm going to study the topic this weekend, and I'm going to understand well. All right, all right, very good, very good. Thank awesome. you. All this right. week, all the topics were new to me. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Yes. So, so, but practice, but, but they, did you understand? That's good, right? If topics were new, but did you understand them? Can you basically, did you learn how to identify a relative pronoun, a relative adverb, and a relative clause? Those are the three things that we've been seeing, right? And what is a clause, right? Yes, Jamie? Uh, teacher, I am not on the WhatsApp group. Oh, you're not on the WhatsApp group? No, I am um, not. I think I can share the link, right? Hold on. Okay. But 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 you received it to your email, didn't you? I, I don't take care of the, the, the groups. The, oh, the okay. category open. Let me check. Because, okay. I couldn't right. check my email this week. So let me check. Oh, okay. All right. That's, that might have been the reason why. Thank right. you. Yeah, yeah um so yeah i'm also i'm also not an admin so no me agregar a nadie porque no soy administrador yo uh i think i think so all right but uh but this is my phone number all right if you don't find the email send me a message and i'll try to see how to add you okay now guys do me a favor we need to complete the platform right um, so I'm going to say this in Spanish, para la primera semana, como lo dije al principio de la clase, se espera la parte, la sección 1 y la sección 2, right? Completas, ok? Entonces, eh, si no la han completado, complétenla. Nosotros siempre vamos a ir, tenemos cuatro semanas, entonces, eh, yo completo durante la semana, o sea, vemos todo, right? Pero ustedes pueden, ustedes, Iglesia Cooperativa les va a pedir que avancen de antemano. Entonces, vean los videos, todo, right? Pero avancen de antemano para que vayan eh, completando lo que es inglés cooperativo les, 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 les requiere, ¿ok? Bueno, uh, that's been everything, guys. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye-bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Bye-bye.